Hello ladies and we are back with another video of WCW Lives, the second episode and our first episode of WCW Nitro in this series. Oh, Alright, I reckon it's a decent show, we get a few things sorted out, uh, let's start. In our first pre-show match in the 56C minus, in an extremely short pre-show match, Buff Bagwell defeated James Storm in 405 by pinfall with a yellow jacket suplex. F great performance of Buff Bagwell. It's really stood out. Stood out. No work improvements. We are actually uh, we are in the Mercer University Center in front of thirty one, uh, nearly thirty two hundred people. Another 56 C minus. Diamond Dallas Page defeated Chris Harris. You know, simple. Chris Harris is improving in Rumble skills. Ooh, Diamond Dallas Page susta uh, sustained a retrous nose in this match. 55 C minus. Dustin Rhodes defeated Johnny Swinger in 352. Yeah. No work improvements. Next push show match. 55 C minus Jeff Jarrett and Canyon defeated Lash LaRue and Jason Jen 424. Uh, Lash LaRue and Jason Jen showed gr excellent chemistry. Good, nice, maybe a new team. Or maybe they're already a team, but I'm just retarded because I didn't watch WCW. <laughs> uh, next segment. And I think this is our last pre show match. Six 63 C. Uh, Kevin Nash defeated Cash in 554. Cash is improving performance skills. So we open up the show with an 84B+, and Eric Bischoff talks about the state of WCW. Basically, he comes out, and he just he just talks about what's happening to WCW. He comes out, he's like, Well, you thought we were dead. You thought we were going under. You thought we lost. But yet, we're still here, and we're still fighting. However, however long it may last, we're not going down until we're truly dead. What happened yesterday is when a third, when an unknown investor invested a lot of money into the company, we were able to go on. We were able to continue. And we are able to put on WCW Nitro for you tonight. Thank you for all of you that's, that are sticking with us and are continuing to support us. Let's get on with the show. Next segment. 82B. Uh, Booker T and Eric Bischoff are in Eric Bischoff's office. And they... We start talking about Booker T and his titles. He is currently the World Heavyweight and the United States Heavyweight Champion, but he is injured for 28 days. Therefore, he will not be able to defend that title, any of those titles, at the Big Bang, uh, at the Big Bang event. Therefore, Eric Bischoff tells him that he will defend his titles when he comes uh, when he comes back, and that uh, and that the main event for the Big Bang. Will be a fatal four way to decide the main, uh, the, <laughs> oh, the number one contender for the w WCW World Heavyweight title. That fatal four way will consist of Booker T, Scott Steiner, Sting, Jeff Jarrett, Ke and Kevin Nash. Yeah, so might as well book that in for the Big Bang. It says it's going to be Sunday week one, but we are going to change that. We are going to. Uh, um, the events are currently a bit random. I think I'm going to change them to maybe every Sunday week four, week three, maybe every Saturday week four, just to change it up a bit. So let's book in the fatal four way. Main event is Scott Steiner, Sting, Jeff Jarrett, and Kevin Nash. All right. That's the main event booked in. Next segment. 60C. In a decent, uh, in a bout that had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat, Shane Helms defeated Shannon Moore in 7.38 by pinfall with a vertebraker. Not a bad match. You know, decent. 
ex what you'd expect from these two decent performers, the good cruiserweights. Next, 41D, Shane Helms is celebrating uh, his in-ring victory, but Chavo Guerrero runs in, beating Shane Helms down into the mat. Chavo obviously wants a title shot, a shot at that cruiserweight title, and yeah, let's see where this goes. 44D, Bas so basically Fit Finley walks into the locker room, he arrives, and Billy Kidman is in his space. Fit Finley asks Billy Kidman nicely to get out of his face, but Billy Kidman doesn't doesn't do it. Everyone, it's this this space has been Fit Finley's. It's been Finley's since since he's joined WCW. It's always been his. And Finley challenges him to a match, telling him that he'll beat some respect into the young lad. And in a 64C. Fit Finley <laughs> defeats Billy Kidman with a tombstone pile driver. Fair enough. A decent match. No work improvements. Next segment, 50D+. Plus. Fit Finley talks about teaching the kids a lesson in respect. He's He basically is m angry. All these new young kids coming into WCW not knowing anything about respect. And he decides that he is going to teach them it. He is going to beat them in, uh, beat it into them, and he's going to make sure they learn a good lesson. Next segment, 64C, the current uh, WCW Tag Team Champions, Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare, defeat Disco Inferno and Mike Sanders in 9-14, when Ch Chuck Palumbo defeated Disco Inferno by submission with a torture rack. Decent match, not too bad, 64C, Mike Sanders is improving in performance skills. Yeah, let's go. Next. 49D plus Team Canada come out and cut a promo on the current tag team champions, basically saying something along the lines of Look at these, look at these non Canadians, look at these American scum holding your tag team titles, holding, representing you. Why not get a nice full blood Canadian as your tag team champions? Why not? That's what. We are going to be the next tag team champions. We are going to make uh, the tag team titles great again. We are going to make the tag team titles Canadian again. Next. 91A. Um, Ric Flair and this Dusty Rhodes basically argue backstage. Uh, yeah. And uh, basically these guys have always had a rivalry going on. And it goes a step too far. And Flair slaps Dusty Rhodes straight across the mouth and leaves. Next segment, 57, uh, C-. In an extremely short match, Ric Flair defeated Air Paris in 1.34 by pinfall with an inside cradle. Not a, not a bad match. And after 77B, Ric Flair is celebrating his victory. Dustin Rhodes runs in and attacks Ric Flair. Obviously, being mad about Ric Flair slapping his father, disrespecting his father, the legend that is Dusty Rhodes, and Dustin just won't stand for it, so he attacks Ric Flair, the nature boy. Next segment, 76B minus, in a good match, Scott Steiner defeated Conan uh, with a Frankensteiner in 1051. That was our semi main event. Very good match. Well, not very good, but decent. Not too bad. And Scott Steiner cuts a 99A star promo. I did rate him on Menace. I'm, I'm going to be honest. And he talks about him becoming the number one contender at WCW Big Bang. He promises it. He promises the fans. He promises the world that he is going to be the next WCW World Heavyweight Champion. The next 68C+. Plus. Conan is backstage after his loss to Scott Steiner. He meets Shane Douglas, what, who is mocking him after losing. The main event gets a 77B, decent match. The battle had great, fantastic heat and great wrestling. Sting defeated Lex Luger in 1816 by pinfall. Um, it was a good match. Uh, not enough shell selling, on show, selling was shown. shown. Uh, Lex Luger defeated uh, Lex 
Lex Lugo is improving his performance skills. Yep, a very decent match, very decent main event, and the last segment gets an 85 beat plus. Uh, Sting cuts a promo on Scott Steiner, Jeff Jarrett, and Kevin Nash, saying that none of them will be able to stop him from achieving uh, achieving the victory at the Big Bang and becoming the number one contender for that WCW World Heavyweight Championship. The overall show gets a 84 B plus. That's a really good show. That's a that's a really good show. Didn't expect that. After uh, a 77 main event, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Nice. Imp- uh, increased our popularity in 10 regions. Nice. I'll see you at the main title screen. And we are back at the main title screen. Let's have a look at something. Triple H awarded Wrestler of the Year. Uh, Wrestling Observer Newsletter awards Wrestler of the Year to the game. All right. Vince McMahon. At- oh, this is about the XFL. Nice. Uh, all right. Obviously, that'd be oh, Tommy Dreamer offer. Oh, okay. We are, we now have now have a working agreement with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Diamond Dallas Page is injured. We'll have to check how long that is for. Time to heal, Johnny Swinger. It's time to heal. Um. WCW Nitro got a one point zero two. Drug test fees, 10,000, alright. And Shannon Paul has poor ring psychology. The kid is not worth keeping around, says Scott Steiner. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm going to change that. It's not going to be five days. Um, it's going to be, it's probably going to be week four. We'll just have a bigger build, you know. We'll just, uh, we'll check out how long DDP is out for. Uh, he's, he's just, he's not out at all. He's working for three days, not too bad. He'll be he'll be nice and healthy for the next show. Yeah. Uh I think I think that's that's all good. I think that's a decent uh first nitro. Very decent. How did draw do? Uh eighty four B what what did we get? Oh. Well we we went e- even with Raw. So, and we were were above them here. So, yeah, we drew overall. Very, very good. Seeing as, um, well, they're international and we're cold. So that's a good thing. Yeah, decent first Nidro. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and bye.